the time is six o'clock on this Saturday evening, 9th of September, 2017. It is time now for the Beer Channel. Six o'clock news on this Saturday evening, September 9th, 2017. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter J. Wiggins. It is six o'clock on the top three of Beer Channel. Six o'clock news is latest on our mouth. West coast of Florida in crosshairs. Devastated Island, Barbara catches a break from Jose, off of Thursday much still left to destroy. FEMA chief said millions could be without power from Irma. When Irma lashes Florida, where will zoo animals go? We have more of that coming up on the weather segment at the Peter Channel 6 o'clock news coming up in a few minutes. In other news, that's said Fox News host Sarah Collins, 19 year old son found dead. The president has a long record as an uncritical ally. As Million and Earth ancient tomb with mummies available in Egypt. Mexico mourns at least 65 to 67 dead after a twin punch to the wreck break in a hurricane. Nina and the son under five for over for anti Semitic George Soros meme. Georgia changes evacuation order. Schools cancel LA airport status. Hurricane enormous wrecks for residents at Florida Trailer Park. Das. Das Syrian. Air bombing reclaimed several villages in a key oil field as part of an intensive operation against Islamic State Hadats. Like Irma in front of it, Hurricane Jose will begin its strength in the north Saturday evening, forecasters said. Hurricane Irma will slowly begin to move away from Cuba Saturday afternoon and will soon turn northwest for its final push in the United States, forecaster said. America and running in a salvage army, running in search of group in Myanmar was declared a temporary ceasefire on Saturday. At least two people were killed after Hurricane Katia crashed into the southern Mexican coastal of Atlantis, category 1 storm of 40 days ahead. As Hurricane Irma looms to the south, millions of Florida residents are facing for the Category 3 storm to run up along the Gulf Coast when it arrives Sunday. When it's back on the President Janet Napolitano, the University of California system has sued the Trump administration over its census play repeal of DACA. The United States called in the UN Security Council to vote on increased sanctions against North Korea after its recent nuclear test. Equifax finally responds to strong concerns over the consumer's legal rights. Cruise flying send ships to Caribbean on hurricane rescue mission. As hurricane needs well, some suggest soon a clear request. Why? NASA spacecraft Cassini will plunge into the center of the mist bump in a 20 year voyage. The sun has produced a whole bunch of solar flares this week. Huge climate change discovery trends and sun scientists. Woman who chose baby instead of chemotherapy died. Sleeping with your dog can give better night rest. Peter Jones' time is 6.03 on this Saturday evening, and it's time now for a spot support. Boston Red Sox will be squared off against the Tampa Bay Rays. Game time, 7.10 p.m. at Fenway Park. Lamar Jackson in first and a power five with back-to-back -back three young yard rush passing and one yard rushing games. While doing one of the serious topics, NFL's actions don't match its words, and Raiders put kicker Sebastian Janikowski on injured reserve. Peter Jones' time is 6.03 on this Saturday evening, and it's time now for traffic and transit of the park. <laughs> Let's study off on the EMT with a Rockford line train at 11.08. By 10 p.m. from Rockford is up at 5 minutes p.m. between Gloucester Station and North Station, an earlier crossing gate issue. But it's loading to get on the subway, commuter rail, and the ferry. Okay, let's look at the downwards and my ways down and around where 146 southbound Little Slope between Woonsocket and Lincoln. Southern Express Rail at the northbound side, it's over the Quincy Stretch, 120 in southbound side, so 130 in Canada and of 20 in Randolph, Mass Bank eastbound side, it's so from Western all the way down to Newton. Southern Express Rail southbound side, 93 in southbound side, so between Somerville and Dorchester. Central and Western Massachusetts highways are looking good, and Connecticut highways are looking good. And Vermont and Germany highways are looking good. Peter, General News Time is 6.04 on this Saturday evening, 7 after a weather report. Looking at the traffic, said remnants of Kenya as at 10 a.m. Central the time, 35 mile per hour winds, 1,000 mile rail bars, 20.0 in the north, 97.9 in the west, and moving west southwest at 4 knots at 5 miles. Hurricane Jose, 5 p.m. 
Category 4 with 1.5 wins. Minimum set pressure 945 millibars. So the 19.2 to the north, 62.4 to the west. Moving northwest at 12 knots and 14 miles an hour. And Shadow Thunderstorm activity search with a total wave of located 700 miles south of the Copper Bay Islands has become somewhere better organized today. And Mountain Good is expected to support at least some additional development in the tropical barriers in good form in a few days while the system moves generally in the northwest over the external Atlantic Ocean formation chance by as low as 20% formation chance by days, meaning 40%. And now, we're on a Cat 3 storm with 125 hour winds, 23 port farther not 80 and a half to the west, and move west northwest at 9 miles an hour. I very much begin to slowly move away from the coast of Cuba while weather is deteriorating in South Florida. Major hurricane force winds expected over the Florida Keys at daybreak. A storm surge warning has been extended from the Bullets of Burbank County Line stomp into the South Santee River. Hurricane Watch has been a the Hurricane Watch West of the Aquila River in the past has been upgraded with a hurricane warning and trucks on the watch west of Indian Pass of Yokolo, so Walton County Line has been upgraded with a trumpet storm warning. Eight trucks on the warning has been issued from North of Fernanda the Beach to the South Santee River. The government of the Lot Cuba has distributed the watches and warnings for Hogland and Las Tunas provinces. A storm surge warning effect for the South Santee River. South of along the Florida Peninsula to the South Winding River, Florida Keys, Tampa Bay. Storm surge. Watch an effect for North of South Winding River to the Oklahoma River. A hurricane warning effect for Fernando Beach, southward along the Florida Peninsula, Indian Pass, Florida Keys, the Kachobi, Florida Bay, Cuba Province of Camagüey, Diego de Alaba, Santa Espiritus, Bill Claire, Matanzas, and Havana. Andros Islands, Bimini, and Graham Hama. Hurricane Watson effect for North of Fernando de Beach to Edista Beach. Trumps on water effect for Western Indian Pass to the Oklahoma Walton County Line and North of Fernando Beach to the South Santee River. Storm surge warning means there will be a danger left for the inundation from reservoir of moving inland from the coastline during the next 36 hours within indicated locations. Best life firm situation person located within this area should take all necessary actions to protect life and property from rising water and potential for. I have a dangerous condition that probably follow records and another instruction from local officials that storm surge, which means that there is a possibly light friend in Indonesia from Wiser Water moving inland from the coast in the indicated location in the next 40 hours. Hurricane warning means that the hurricane conditions are expected somewhere. Wait, then the one there is protected preparation to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible with a watch area and watch is simply issued 40 hours before the anticipated first occurrence of. Trumps on the winds and conditions that make that preparation is difficult and dangerous. Trumps on the warning means that the trouble of storm conditions are affected somewhere in the water here. Interest elsewhere in Cuba and southeast in the United States should monitor the progress of air miles. For storm information to your area in the United States, include the possible and watches and warnings, please monitor the bottom of by local and national weather service forecast office. For storm information to your area outside the United States, please monitor the bottom of by local and national meteorological service. At 5 p.m., the Iron Hurricane Air was located near line to 223 Port Florida, not 88, 80 and a half to the west. Longitude Air was moving toward the west, northwest, near 9 miles an hour, and northwest motion is expected to begin that with a turn toward the north, northwest on Sunday. On the forecast track, the core of Irma will continue to move north, near the north coast of Cuba during the next few hours, and will wait to the Florida Key Sunday morning. The hurricane is expected to move along the near the southwest coast on Florida on Sunday afternoon. Max is staying within 125 miles an hour from Iron Gust. Airman is a Category 3 hurricane on staff's the Simpson Hurricane wind scale. Airman's forecast for you stream it once it moves away from Cuba and a uh, uh, public for hurricane once it approaches Florida. Hurricane force winds extend out to 70 miles an hour from the center and trumps on the force winds extend out to 1 to 5 miles to 1 to 95 miles at Fort Lauderdale. Hollywood, New York, Airport, a bridge sleep for the same gusts of 47 and a gust of 70 and latest minimum central pressure reported by NWA Hurricane Hunter Plane was 93.3 millibars, 27.55 inches. Storm surge, a combination of a dangerous storm surge and the tide will cause normally dry areas near the coastline to be flooded by. Rising water is moving inland from the shoreline. The water is expected to reach the fall and heights above ground if the peak surge occurs at the time of the high tide. Cape Sable to kept about 10 to 15 feet, kept up at Anne Maria Island, 6 to 10 feet, Cad Sand Bridge to through Cape Sable, including the Portuguese, 5 to 10 feet. Anne Maria Island to Clearwater Beach, including Tampa Bay, 5 to 8 feet, North Miami Beach to Cad Sand Bridge, including Biscayne Bay, 4 to 6 feet. South Santee River to Fernanda Beach, 4 to 6 feet. Deepwater Beach to Akuluki River, 4 to 6 feet. Fernanda Beach to North Miami Beach, 2 to 4 feet. The deepest water will occur along the immediate coast and areas of onshore wind water. The surge will be accompanied by large and structural waves and surge really fun and depend on the relative time of the surge and the tidal cyclone and it can very greatly over the short distance. For information is put in your area, please see products by by local National Weather Service Forecast Office.
The combination of large pressure storm surge and large vector waves will raise water levels by normal size levels by the following the mass within the hurricane one area and the new and the drop in the center by Irma. And the coast, the surge will be accompanied by large destructive waves. Northwest of Bahamas, 3 to 6 feet. North, bring close to Cuba in the water, 5 to 10 feet. When hurricane units are expected to continue with the wind of hurricane one area along the north coast of Cuba, 5 to 10. Hurricane units are expected in Portugal, the northwest Bahamas, tonight, and in Portugal, the Florida. Peninsula and the Florida Keys begin Sunday morning and drops on when hurricane conditions are expected to spread north and across the remainder of the border nerves for Monday. Irma is expected to produce rain, fall rain accumulation by Wednesday. North in Cuba 10 to 15 inches, as 20 inches, southern Cuba 5 to 10 inches, as 15 inches, West Bahamas 3 to 6 inches, as 10 inches, Florida Keys 10 to 20 inches, as 25 inches, Florida Peninsula and southern eastern Georgia 8 to 15 inches, as 20 inches, Asia, Florida Panama Handle and southern South Carolina 48 inches. As I 10 inches and in western eastern Georgia, western South Carolina and western North Carolina, 4 to 8 inches. Western Georgia and eastern and northern Alabama and southern Tennessee, 2 to 5 inches. And areas. These rain farming cause lack of flash floods and mudslides. In some areas, a few tornadoes are possible over this evening and tonight over South Florida. It's been an open in the center Florida on Sunday. And sir, well, trade by Irma affecting the southeast of Bahamas, the drugs and kicker sounds in the southeast coast of. The United States today, these was a lightning cause, light current server, rear current conditions. Please please up to me, a local web office. And looking at the latest radar. Shows this is that. Shows the eye of. Irma bringing rains to Havana and down to Glen Fergus in Cuba and seeing a lot of showers and storms from Key Largo down to Key West. Raining heavily in the Miami area down 75 to Naples and raining spotty heavy bend rain around Port St. Lucie and Palm Bay and searching up Port St. Lucie in Florida. But I will, this is a big, big storm that people need to take seriously right now and do to be right now. And it's raining lightly around northwest of Orlando and down Daytona Beach. And a lot of heavy rain rain showers south of Jacksonville and down around Gainesville. And rain showers off the most of Springs and Florida. And we're going to take a look at the traffic conditions down in Florida. I-75 on the northbound side. It is sold from Leesburg down to the villages. And closures. 95 is schools from 736 in Fort Lauderdale down to Florida Turnpike in North Miami. I-75 on the northbound side. It's sold between Palm Springs all the way down to Southwest Ranchers. 595 on the South Pass Toll Road. It's closed between 75 and Florida Turnpike. 75 on the northbound side. It's sold around 869. 93 on the northbound side. It is sold towards Andy Town and eastbound side. Meanwhile, closer to home, we had a beautiful day, and then, all of a sudden, showers came. And looking at radar and its shows, spotty rain shot not for walk down in West Great Squidinch and Rhode Island, raining around Cherry Valley in Rhode Island, and raining east of Webster and northwest of Burrville, Rhode Island, and raining lightly around Webster Shoulderville in Blackstone, and raining lightly around the Mass Pike in Nick and raining around Lincoln, Concord up and around Burlington, raining around Lynn and Mother and apparently raining around Bacon. And it's clusters of rain showers and heavy band of rain showers knocking the report and stretching from Portsmouth all the way up to the Parkland, Maine, and clusters of showers and storms up from Maine down in North Central Neptune and sent on the northern portion of Vermont and up in the eastern Quebec, over in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Okay, seven day forecast. I go like this. For tonight, we're gonna have a mix of sun and clouds. With some chances of showers and thunderstorms made before 7 p.m. Most gusts about 40 degrees. Not about five miles coming coming in the evening, just based on 30%. For Sunday, parts of about 30 degrees and not about six miles enough for Sunday night. 
Patrick Vaughn after 2 a.m. last most guys, but then Crush Graham Cliff Scott about 48 degrees and not a memorable win. Monday, Patrick Vaughn for 70 miles sunny to Cliff Scott about 39 and about 49 degrees. Northwest for about 8 miles and shift to the west about 5 miles an hour. But Tuesday, Sunday, most crisp but 8 to about 33 degrees. Wednesday, most of Sunday, podcast but 81 about 37 degrees. Thursday, most of Sunday, podcast but 75 about 53 degrees. Friday, most of Sunday, podcast but 74 about 54 degrees. And for Saturday, put the but 33 degrees and currently in Taunton, it's a few clouds and it's 68. And in Alton is you clouds, and we have clear skies, and we have a temperature of 66 degrees. We really are at 69 percent, and that's coming in for the Peter Channel 6 o'clock news on this Saturday evening, 6th, 9th of September 2017. I'm Peter Jason. Have a good evening, good bye, and I'll see you at 11 o'clock on the airport. Hope y'all have a good evening.